Hello, Justice Curry here. Here's a preview of things to come on this epic two-part series of The Prop Shop. <laughs> Justice Curry here. This is probably going to be one of my favorite videos of all time because I am in my hometown, Port Huron, Michigan. Michigan's up there in the thumb of the map. My high school, actually way earlier than high school, my old friend, Casey Carty, is living his dream. He is selling toys and he's making costumes. Yes, and we're going to go to his shop. He's going to give us an all-access tour of the prop shop. You guys are going to absolutely love this. I am so pumped for this video. Come on in. Oh my goodness. Take it all in, folks. It's It's been a little while since I've been here last. Holy moly. We're going to go through it all. I'm going to show you some incredible stuff. Oh. Casey! Let's find him. Casey, Casey, Casey. Oh, his backstage. I don't know if we're allowed back here. You know what? We are allowed back here. We go way back. Oh, look at all this amazingness. Everything. Hey, man, how are you? Oh, it's Justice. just Hello. me. How you doing, brother? How's it Good going? to see you. Dude, it's been updated every time I come in here. It's like new and awesome, and I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is great. Are you ready to? Kind of show me around, give me a tour? Sure, yeah. Oh, Casey, Casey. What would you like to see? You know what? I can always, let's, let's start with the turtles, because turtles is near and dear to you, and I can always tell the difference between a collector or someone that just sells toys and doesn't really have a passion for toys, because I know you from way back, I mean, middle school is when we started hanging out. Yeah, locker partners. Yes, locker partners, all through middle school and high school. Weird. We, we didn't have to share a locker, but we were like attached to the umbilical cord. And, right. <laughs> and I, I don't think we collected toys in high school. Did you, you did. Uh, you had a. I had my stuff. Some of my stuff from when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. And you were mainly a Popeye collector, if I Popeye remember. Right. Oh my gosh! Take me through, because people are just going to be like, "Stop here! What's this? What's that?" So we'll do our best to kind of show you some key items, and then later when we're sitting down doing a little interview, I'll go slowly, the B-roll film, of going through each and everything. Well, we'll hit the highlights right here. What's catching my eye, though, is Master Splinter. He looks like he's about ready to come alive. Can you tell me about him? Yeah, that's one I just got done making, actually. It's a life-size. It's, uh, it's fully wearable. It's a costume. You can wear this? Yep. Oh, my. yeah. And you have the Back to the Future that's 2. That's a placeholder until I get the replicas of the... Uh, ninja Rap. Oh, Finished. the Ninja Rap. Yes. Actually, he's right back there. That's the original, one of the originals that was used in the movie. That was actually screen used? I'm not sure if it was screen used, but there's a few of them that were uh, they're called stuff versions that were produced for the film. Oh, I see. There's there's some things like, what's what's the deal with that record? You told me years ago and I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, that is the uh, gold record for Turtle Power. Really? Which is the song in there. And then, yeah, that was signed by Partners in Crime. I had that signed. Oh my. Goodness. That's them at one of the conventions. Really? Oh, you do conventions then? Yeah, we set up at conventions sometimes. Uh, neat. These are freaking amazing, dude. NECA. NECA. Yep, I have this one in my personal collection. Yep. That is so cool. What about that? Is that a glow-in-the-dark Slimer yeah, or something? Yeah, that was like a Halloween type thing that was made for... Um, I'm not sure who made that one, but he kind of runs around on the floor. <laughs> And you had, I mean, Turtle, first it was Popeye. You were a huge Popeye collector, right. you know, your whole childhood. And then I remember you transitioning into Turtles. Like, is this some of your personal collection then? Or yeah. What's... yeah, definitely some of my personal collection. A lot of it I brought in. Um... Oh, my 
just kind of get it out of bins. And yep. Whatnot. Yep. That's that's the struggle as collectors having room enough. But now you have a store that you can just yep. display it. <laughs> this is so cool. So it's 2018. How long have you been in uh, operation? Going on a little bit, I think 11 years now. 11 freaking years, yeah. yes. As far as the toy store goes in the store, this has been probably oh. the sixth year, seventh year. Sixth around. year, okay, yep, yep. And it, like I said earlier, it keeps growing and your quality of stuff keeps getting better and better. Oh, wow, look at this. Cool. These are items here that were used on the um, next mutation, so these were actually pulls from that. These? Well, that was actually from Turtles 3. That was a production mold that I repainted there. This one is. Which one? Yeah, the Mikey right here. Okay. Yeah, you so repainted? That was kind of a stunt mass. It was a pole from a pole or whatever. Oh, that was cast from wow. A prop. And then these blank ones here, these were blank poles that were pulled from uh, Next Mutation, which was that cheesy <laughs> 90s Power Ranger type. Yes. Wow. A couple right. swords that were supposedly used, which I haven't been able to Probably the first or second film. Yep, it says the movie prop stunt ninja sword up there next to it. And then a baby turtle! I didn't even see that! Yeah, that's one that I made. And I remember you were incredibly artistic in school, so I'm guessing you made this background, this little sewer grate yeah. and everything. Yeah, I had to have a little sewer layer in here. Yeah, that's so cool. Which oh my gosh. A few years ago, I should remember, there used to be arcade games. Yes, you had an a turtle's arcade, another sword. Got it in there so no one can grab it. So moving along, man, this I, I gotta I gotta touch on so much video games. You know my passion is uh, one of my passion many passions is video games. The Ninja Guidance, you got the, the big ones right there. People love love oh. tournament fighters. Yes, Bomberman. Wow. Woo, Casey. Did you you made this yourself, didn't you? Yep. We buy, we sell, we trade. The prop shop, you have like a 1982 G.I. Joe right there. That is beautiful, beautiful. And stickers, business cards. So what what makes you put stuff in this other than uh, in different spots of the store? Is this like your favorite stuff, your yeah, high-end stuff? Yeah, just tiny stuff? things that are, are smaller. I don't want people touching ah, so much. Gotcha. Yep, yep. Kid going, hey, let's open this up in yeah, front of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got to be a concern for sure. But yeah, I like package things. I like things from the 70s, 80s. Um, Toys R Us battery. I didn't even yeah, know I they made that. Those. Actually, I found that in the thing that it's not corroded or anything. So. That is I neat. found that the day that I, I found out that they're closing up. Really? Crazy, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's a sad thing. I'm kind of in denial. Ooh, what are these? Headbands? Yeah, those are headbands that we made. We call them horror headbands. I'm not going to break those. Yeah, I don't, those are for women. <laughs> if you feel like it, go for it. <laughs> these are called... But yeah, they're horror headbands, so they're based on different horror characters. Yes. Like, that would be Jason, mm -hmm. Pinhead, Freddy, some other face one. So if someone's watching this and wants to contact you, a lady for this, or a male, who knows, I'm not going to judge, um, or they see something else and they're like, oh my gosh, how do I how do I get this in my collection? How do I own this? How can they contact you? Go to the website, uh, propshopsite.com. So the prop, P-R-O-P, shop, S-H-O-P, site? S-I-T-E dot com. Okay, perfect. Yep. And that's a website. What about Facebook? Can they follow you on Facebook or yeah, find you? Yeah, I don't know what the heck the link is off the hand. That, but. but they can type in the prop shop yeah type in the prop shop and be able to message you and yeah i'm not sure what that and then if you message me i will give you his address and personal cell phone number and and you can contact him any time of the night he, he will show my flyer, right? <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> oh these are hot man right now i'm kidding i can't i can't get rid yeah, of deep on. when i get deep space nine or any star trek for that matter other than the the old amigo stuff it is. It sits there, man. Well, there's, you know what? There's something for everybody. I found out having a store, you never know. There's exactly. Always, if somebody wants to come in and love Star Trek, they're going to pick them up. Yep. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You know, one of my many, many passions, my firstborn child is He Man. I stole I, my battle cat a few years ago. I did take oh, your yeah. battle cat. Oh, 
That's right, folks. If you looked at any of my prior videos, you've seen a giant, like, bouncy rider battle cat. I've taken it off the bouncy part and just have it on display. It's huge. I bugged him for years. I even mentioned him in one of my videos, Casey. And for years and years, every like six months, I would message you every time I was in town, you know, visiting my folks. And finally, one time, I just caught you. And you said, All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to sell. Yeah, the human stuff is blown up for sure. Yes, yes, and, and there's multiple factors with Super 7 and um, it's relaunching the line on uh, Mattel, Maddie's heels, and, and then always that talk about a potential movie, who knows if that'll ever happen. Yep. And then uh, the Toys That Made Us, which the documentary that, what the heck? That's a, uh, well, I don't know if you know, but the original lightsabers were actually... Um, Lamp something or other vintage film flash bulbs, yes, lamps or whatever. So that's what that is. So, what's the story on this? I found it at a garage sale, and there it is. What is this? But yeah, people buy these, they customize them, you it, know. So, is this a custom or something? Someone actually was that production? No, that's actually, yeah, that's actually that was produced. So, that's a that was produced for a camera flash. Oh, camera my flash. goodness, that Put is the batteries in there. And, I'm not sure. This is probably more like the Darth Vader one, I'd assume. I don't really know. That is maybe it's, amazing. This dude. might be a shorter version of it, too. Wow. A bunch of ones I use. You got some Wizard of Oz stuff. Yep. <laughs> Ernest! Yes! Hey, Vern. Um, wrestling. Were you? I'm, I wasn't a big wrestler fan when I was growing up. I mean, I liked Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, but were you big into wrestling? Just in the 80s, I was. I, I liked it in the 80s. I watched some WrestleManias. And yeah. I had a few toys, but not a whole lot. Right, right. Oh, yes. Always missing his handcuffs, yeah. but I personal. I at home that have handcuffs. I just didn't bring them in. Really? I want to start army building them. Just have like 20 of these. Yeah, I got, got a hold of the football one. Did you really? Year, which is pretty cool. Neat. But yeah, that's always one something that I always wanted when I was a kid. For sure. What is this thing called again? You remember? I can't remember the line. I knew it. I don't remember what it is now. Yeah. 92. Oh, yeah, I thought they were older than that too. They, like they do years. look older. I'm just gonna set him there. Nice. Ooh, we got some GI Joes. Sweet, sweet. Mighty Max. That was kind of my brother's jam. This yeah. wasn't so past us. Yeah. Pee Wee's Playhouse. Sweet. And then video games. Do yeah. uh, people come in here buying video games? Yeah, people like the retro stuff, and they come in here. Yep, yep, and people can bring, I'm sure that's how you get a lot of your stuff is. Yeah, yeah, I buy collections and, uh, you know, whatever trade. Of course, of course, yep, people come in and doing the same kind of thing. And we'll, sometimes when I'm in town, we'll go to uh, hit up Salvation Armies or Goodwills and he'll grab something. Like, oh man, I wanted that. I remember you got a, uh, a little handheld He-Man electronic game. Yes. One time and I was very jealous and it predates these ones. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was super old. Ooh, hopefully you'll give me the backstage access here. Possibly, because that that's some where the magic happens. And and I remember you being huge into horror yes, stuff. I am. Um, yep. You still are, not not was. It, horror and Halloween. I love vintage Halloween stuff. Um, I'm kind of all over the place, so it doesn't you know I don't know. Yep. Halloween time, I'm definitely more into this stuff. But yeah, I love the old Universal monster stuff. And... <sighs> the mask and your old toy collecting room I remember a big section dedicated yep. to uh, yeah I had lots of horror, lots horror. Of and then the other side of the wall was Ninja Turtles yeah it still has some goodies at home too but... oh for sure ooh this is the ones with the cool yep 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 NECA I could never watch horror I mean you know I'm, I'm afraid of clowns <laughs> you remember that one time we were, we were hanging out uh, as youngsters, and I was getting ready to leave, and, and you guys had previously put that scary clown on my windshield, so when I was getting in the car, that there was that windshield. Was that that clown that you had that you tried to Yes! Get? Yes! Holy schmoly. I want a complete one of these yeah, Shogun Godzilla so bad. He's perfect other than his arm. His tail, or his tongue comes out? Yep. Oh, yes! Yes. And then you got your the pre-production alien. alien or something. Yep, yep. My pre-production alien. He's, he's a placeholder until I get another one, but he's missing an arm. 
Uh, it's very common. He's just cool sitting up there. Very common with the, the arms falling out. Oh, gosh. And these are what, McFarlane? Yep, Movie Maniacs for yep. the most part. Cool, cool. Ooh. I, I've been obviously collecting G.I. Joe's, He Man, and some of various lines. Now I'm getting to the point where I'm going, I need other avenues to collect because it's getting into the extreme foreign and rare versions and stuff that's hard to find. But uh, to pacify my addiction of plastic uh, drugs, I've been kind of going down the NECA alien route and the Predators. I just I really dig them, man. Oh, dude. That's sweet. Look how big those are. Do you have a fondness for these as well, Case? Yep. Yep. Oh, sweet. Godzilla's and Batman. Help. Ain't nine bad. Yep. Yep. Movie theater. I remember. Some more NECA, Rambo, Schwarzenegger. You know, they made toys, the Muppet Babies. Sweet. What is, oh, gosh, it was, it was a while ago. I remember you getting a, a giant kiss lot. Yes, I did. Like, just massive, yeah, massive. Yeah, it was probably 10 times more than this. It was a lot of I believe it. Yeah. That's neat what you do. You take your business card, put little things in there, and then, uh, like I did as I... I'm set this right here and you can yell at me later. I broke it. <laughs> Break it, you buy it. Records? You yeah, branched I out into music records? stuff too. I mean, music's huge. You know, I used to be in a band and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I was, I was one of the groupies in the band. Yeah. And Flago, and Fugo, and Flago. Fuego. And Fuego means on fire. Even your, what was that old red car you had? Um, oh, the uh, Fairmont. Fairmont. Yeah. Cherry Red. And you had a license plate, but it didn't say like Fuego 1. Fuego 1. Yeah. <laughs> No, the license plate? Yeah, it's, it's, I had that ever since I was 16. So Jeez. Ooh, the bargain bin. You know I'm cheap. So I'm always looking for a bargain. <laughs> That's neat, man. People like going through this? Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. A couple dollar figures. So. Right, right. And go, oh, I remember that. I had that as a kid. You can have vintage He-Man in there. Neck and neck. Oh, that's all right. I would have done the same thing. Pins. Old school trading cards. Oh, what the frick, man? These look like Mad Balls. Casey. Knock off Mad Balls, yo. Knock off Mad... Vintage? I don't know how vintage those are. They look vintage. Yeah, they, they do. Because the modern or the vintage ones were hard and a little bit larger right. than yeah, this. Yeah, I'm not sure how vintage those are when they were actually produced, but. Um, oh, wow. They're still cool. I'm digging that. Some comics I see. Oh, nice. Little. Oops. I missed. I keep. Every time I turn around, there's a new wall that I'm like, what is this? What is that? I'm mostly model kits down there and the newer 90s. The, Star Wars. That everyone collected, including me, I got exactly. a set yeah, thinking I was going to be a, yeah. a millionaire, and yeah. unfortunately, eight million people did the exact They'd same come thing. Up a little bit, I think, compared to what they yeah, were. Yeah, from three dollars to eight dollars. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And the mail away. Remember the mail away? Yeah. Oldie. What's what's the deal with this case? What are you putting here? A bunch of random. So there's mostly transformers in the top two things. Can I open this? Yeah. And break things. Sure. Yeah, sure. You, break you, you do it anyway. Oh, gosh, Casey. All right, sweet. Transformers. Yeah, there's mostly G1 Transformers in there. GoBots. Nice. GoBots. Then we get into a, a hodgepodge of different things in there. 80s, Star not Star wrestling, and Ooh. Star Wars down there, yeah. You know that I'm definitely into these bootlegs lately. 15, what is this dude? 10, I want these. Can I buy them from you? Sure. Um, how about $2? Um, 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, 20 bucks. Did you do 20? I suppose. All right, thanks. Since we're locker partners. <laughs> Since we're locker partner, the locker partner discount. Oh, wow. Dude, micro machines. So did I. Army ants. Star yours? What they're called? Yeah. You say it yeah, like yeah. Those, uh, I don't know what that's called. Yeah, there's so much. Ooh, another case. I'm just gonna set these right here and I'll uh do you do you take money orders? No. Okay, good. I'll send you a money order later this week. Oh what the heck? Our gang? Yeah, little rascals. Those are vintage then? Yeah, those are Mego. Ooh, 70s. wow. Yes! <gasps> the Voltron Lion! I'm, I'll talk to you about that afterwards because I've been really looking for one. Oh, nice. Signed? Yep, <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I can't, I can't uh, confirm it or deny it. So, what? What do we have up here? Some signatures? Yeah, those are when we do conventions and whatnot. Uh, yeah. You know, the people we get to see and meet and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Mostly horror up there. Face off. Yeah, they contacted me a few times, but I haven't. I wish you could. Would that be sweet? <sighs> Is it still on? It's, it's still on, yeah. It's still on, okay. I don't have cable anymore. I, I went to Netflix. What? Oh, man. Winston, yeah. why do you have price tags over those people's faces? Long story. <laughs> Long story. I'm not that one okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Holy man. Now, this is getting to the stuff that, that we make in the back. Okay, so you make some all, of these. Yeah, custom commissions and you know, different things like that. Gotcha. So people reach out to you and they go, hey, I want such and such for, exactly. for going to San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah, somebody that wants a really good quality, movie quality, and yep. bust for Dude, are these my size? Those I didn't make, those were, those were replicas of uh, the, cause they, of the Back to the Future shoes. They came out like official ones, didn't they, yeah, a few years ago? And then thousands, thousands of bucks. Yeah, these were long before then, that was made by supposedly a, a real shoemaker. Can I wear one of these? Let me wear one, please, please, please. All right, All right yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I get to wear a Ninja Taroka hat, mask. There's a good spot to set this. So that goes with our full suit that we do. We do the whole thing, and I'll show you guys a little bit more of that. Oh, wow, dude. Once we get back there. Yeah, it's not that heavy, surprisingly. Yeah. Look at this quality, people. Whoa, thank you. I've always wanted to wear one. Always. Cross up. One on the bucket list. Sweet. Well, you were my original, uh, remember doing the pictures of Freddy and stuff? Yes, yes. So actually, his head was my original for the first sculpture I ever did, which we, is We were like 18 years old, yep. something fresh out of high school, mm -hmm. and you wanted to live this dream, and, and you made, I remember being in your garage. Yeah, I cast his head. It was the first thing really that I ever did, <laughs> special effects related to during the hand pictures of it. Oh no! Right yeah, right there. Oh my goodness. So that's actually the cast. Look at how sexy oh, I was. Head. And then next to it, that's... Uh, There's you! With me! Yeah. That's with all that plaster on my face. I remember you literally putting straws in my nose, putting some like cellophane on my hair, and then covering my whole entire face. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't die, because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing at all then, so... You still have that, don't you? Have I do. I'll, I'll, I'll snip it in there, I'll put it in now, and you'll see it. Um, Here's a sculpture here. Oh, really? Gosh, dang. Where is it? It's the closet people wearing it, too. 
So that's the first sculpture I ever did, and that's over Justin's head. So there's a hard, heavy, uh, pla not pla plaster head of me that you just saw, and then you put clay on it yes. and made it into Jason. Right. Not Jason. Well, back Ready in the day, it. I thought that I had to use an actual, which you would if you wanted to do a custom piece, like mm -hmm. prosthetics for somebody. Yep. Um, but yeah, that was a disaster. But it was a good learning experience, and I think it you looked more so like young. a piece of bacon wrapped around somebody's head than it did Freddy. But, a piece of bacon. Oh. And this is you, Dude, those are my this. eyes. Yep. Holy moly, there! I remember yep. modeling this mask. I was scaring myself. I didn't even want to see pictures of myself because I was so scary looking. Dude, that's that's some memory lane yeah, right cool. there. I mean, wow. And then you've, what is it, Robert England? Is that his name? Yeah, that one actually, this one was the, this is the current one that I do, but that's actually was sculpted on Robert England's life cast. Oh, okay. So instead of your face, yep. it's sculpted on his face. Neat. And I see a picture of him right there. What's, what's it, can I pick this up? Yeah, just some autograph stuff that I have. As I break this, this, is this one of your? No, I didn't make this one. They so look similar to the ones when we were kids and you were making these yeah, suckers. Yeah. Well, this is the reason I stopped making them, was because I mass produced them for 60 bucks. Oh, gotcha. All the work that I had to cut everything off. Yeah, you were cover, cutting out copper. We were yeah. finding old gloves yeah. from Goodwill and making them into. Yeah, that was the very first thing I ever, Gosh, I ever I, did. I remember helping you doing that. Glove. That was so. Is is this another one that's a? Mass produced one there too. Yeah, Do you I have any of your originals? The only one of my originals I have is right here. That's kind of broken up, but he's up there still too. Gosh. Well, here's some pictures. Um, what do you, who are these people? Any noteworthy? Yeah, just, well, you know, there's Danny Trejo. Everybody knows him. Yes. Um, Jason's up there, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Doug Bradley, Pinhead. That's a little kid from Michael Myers. The, oh, this one, yeah. The remake, little Michael Myers. And, mm -hmm. Wow. And Candyman, and, you know, some old people that. Yep. Yep. Is this the Indiana Jones skull? Yeah. <laughs> that movie kind of flopped, but I still liked it because that's Indiana yeah, Jones. Yeah, I made that replica before I actually knew. Before the movie came out, I didn't know what the size was, so it's a little bit scaled down to what they were. But... Oh, neat. Yeah. What? These, these things are making me almost vomit in my mouth. They're so scary looking, dude. Uh, Walking Dead? Yeah. That, was based on that one that was in the, um, the well. The well What's what's back here? Uh, just a whole bunch of. Because uh, I invite myself random back here. Things, yeah. It's kind of a. Well, we do costume rentals upstairs, so. Costume rentals. That's right. It's kind of a little back room where we, you know, steam everything, and then kind of a dumping ground for some things I haven't put on the shelves yet. Gotcha. A couple so, of cool vintage masks that are in my collection here. These are, all these are personal. Yeah, these are Don Post. So this would have been uh, Halloween three. That was a mask that was used in there. Really? The season of the Witch. Holy moly. What about this dude? That's an Eric Don Post from the 70s. Nice. And that one right there, that's a, um, I believe that was from the 80s, early 80s. It's a Carl uh, Frankenstein. What, what are these faces? That's Robert England. That's the yeah. one I was telling you that I based the thing on. Okay. And then we got Malcolm McDowell. Who is? Uh, he, he was in Clocks Worth, or Worth Orange and ah. you know, a whole bunch of stuff. It's Michael Jackson. <laughs> there somewhere. What? When he was born. That's William Shatner, which is the very first Michael Myers mask was a customized William Shatner mask. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> wow. These are catching my eye. We talked about Mad Balls oh, earlier. Yeah, Mad Ball mask. They, they don't come in very often, do they? I'm always looking at hunting for them myself. Anything, these are some Halloween records? Yeah, just some cool decorations, really. I, I put some on my wall, too, in my, my toy room. Well, there's like a car up there, too. I think I did for Robert Engel when I won that thing. Remember that Freddy? Yes, Friday yes! Night? Ooh. Some shots of that. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's pretty much Whoa. every time I turn around, there's a new spot that I forget. Man. Remember, this is the prop shop. 
It's in Port Huron, Michigan. If you want to make a journey here, you will see that it's well worth it. Oh my goodness. What the heck are these? Little key chains that we make. Whoa! You make all these and paint them? Bottle openers. <laughs> Whoa. You got some crazy talent, my friend. I'm glad to see, glad to see my uh, my talent rubbed off on you. You wouldn't be where you are today if it wasn't for me. <laughs> you could not at all. Get out. Get it out. Get out of my, my store. Ooh.